friends over the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. I am finally reviewing the Swatch System 51. This is a watch that was originally released in, well, debuted in 2013. Uh, it started being for sale a little while after that. And it didn't come to the United States until kind of close to the end of 2014. So what is the System 51? If you don't know what it is, it is Swatch's premier entry-level mechanical watch with a movement that's called the System 51, which is, um, in, in addition to being inexpensive, um, kind of an interesting production marvel. And the reason it's a production marvel is it's a mechanical movement, an automatic mechanical movement, produced entirely by machines. It's, it's a, it's a ro robotically made movement, which is kind of ironic because if you think about it, part, sort of the whole point of getting a Swiss watch is, is this notion that it's produced by watchmakers, that um, you know it's 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 lovingly handcrafted. So to have one made by Swiss robots versus Swiss watchmakers is is interesting and kind of ironic. Even though the price is very affordable with a, with a retail price of $150 for all the different versions, this is just one dial style. Um, you know you can still get less expensive Asian uh, mechanical watches made in China or Japan, things like that. You can go and you can get a cool mechanical Seiko for 50 bucks online or, or sometimes even less. That's a, that's a deal. So you have to understand that while this is an interesting movement, it's by no means the cheapest mechanical watch um, in the world, but it's definitely the cheapest Swiss mechanical watch in the world um, for now. So the movement is called the System 51 because it's produced from 51 parts. There is one screw and you can see kind of right there in the center, that screw is hold, holding down the automatic rotor and everything else has, um, I think it's sort of little tension points to keep it together. You can see the balance wheel spinning there. It's a three hertz movement. Um, there's a big barrel uh, over here and that large size barrel gives it power reserve for I think 90 hours or something like that, which is quite a long time. That's actually you know several days. So that's that's very impressive that there's a there's a nice long power reserve there. In terms of performance, I mean, um, you know, this is not going to be a chronometer. It's going to be okay, um, but this is not not going to be you know the world's most accurate me uh, mechanical watch. But that's not really what's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a fun way of getting into the world of mechanical watches. Um, it is it is uh, automatic with hand winding. And I love kind of the, the noise. I don't know if you can hear this. It's kind of this interesting, it's like almost like a little whine. It's actually similar to how um, some uh, Japanese movements sound um, when, you're, when you're whining them. So I'm playing here. You have the time, you have a little date window there, which is cute. So that is the, that is the System 51 um, movement in, in a nutshell. Um, oh, and something that's very important to mention about the System 51 movement, it is not designed to be repaired at all. It is, it is created in this little uh, ch sealed chamber. If something is wrong with the movement, then you, you get a new movement. Um, of course, that's, that sort of flies in the face of conventional thinking about how mechanical movements are supposed to be, and that is that if they break, you don't replace them, you fix them, they're meant to last a lifetime. Um, the philosophy here with the System 51 is a little bit different. Um, I like the sort of what they call the, the mystery automatic rotor. You can see around this periphery here, there's, there's an area and underneath it is, is a hidden um, eccentric weight. Um, but when you just sort of wear it and look at it, you know, you, you can see it moving now. But the whole idea is to sort of give an unencumbered view of the movement. And these little graphics are interesting. Different versions of the System 51 have different movement graphics as well as a, a dial. Case is about 42 millimeters wide in plastic with a plastic crystal. Um, there are different straps available on different versions of the System 51. This just happens to be um, the one I have and actually one of the debut models. So I thought it was pretty cool um, to have one of the first uh, pieces. Since Swatch has come out with the, the System 51, I think there's been two or three generations of new, of new dials, but so far the cases have all been the same size um, and they all 
have the same movement and complications. So nothing like that. So basically, same case, uh, you know, different different colors and things like that, different dial styles. But essentially, you know, there's one System 51. It's it's an attractive watch, and this dial is interesting because you can see these little red dots there. Those correspond to six of I think the 19. Um, synthetic rubies in the movement. So it of course does have synthetic rubies um, because it, uh, it needs those as pivot points. Um, you know, what's interesting about a watch like this is that it's something that you can wear in any sort of like watch lover gathering and people will, you know, sort of give you a, a head nod. Um, no one's going to confuse this for, for a luxury item because that's not what it's trying to be. But it is something that you can sort of get away with in the watch lover environment. And that's something that I've mentioned a few times in, in various different types of um, editorials about the System 51 or just sort of like, um, you know, affordable uh, mechanical watches in general. And so, the, the, so, the, so this is really about fun and design. Um, the story of the movement is cool. Um, these are, you know, just like a lot of Swatch watches collectible, but again, they're, they're, you have to understand this is not a replacement for a higher end mechanical movement, which is going to do more, have better performance, of course be made in a much more high quality way and meant to last a long time. So I guess you could see this as like, you know, someone's like first mechanical watch or just sort of a fun gift for someone that likes mechanical watches. There's a lot of value here and I think Swatch um, did a good job coming out with this. Um, you know, it took a lot of effort to, to come up with, with what essentially for them is a kind of race to the bottom. They had to put a lot of effort into it. So again, this is a Swatch System 51. This is one particular version. Price for all of them so far is, uh, at least in the US, is $150. And you can see the full review on a blog to watch. Thanks. <music>